So, oh, okay, I think I remember, yes. There's this thing right here, which is more or less a... Hmm. And then what's this switch do? No idea. No idea what that does. Um, well, let's, let's leave it pulled. Oh! Well, that's not so bad then. But we can't quite reach it. So I think there's a block somewhere near here. In fact, I think we passed it along the way. So let me go and get that mamma jamma. Oh, here it is. Excellent. Okay, so we'll have to lower this thing back down again, but that's no problem. Back, back, back. There we go. Let's lower that thing back down so we can pop this motherfucker on there. Of course, it comes down nice and slow. Takes a sweet ass time. So we need to get this box up top, and we also need to leverage this rising and lowering platform as a counterweight to sit on the opposite side of that teeter tower platform that we see on the right hand side. So that way it stays up and allows us to push the block over. So let's see if our scientific theory holds. Probably can't. Probably not a good idea to push it that direction, Alex. There we go. So sure enough, when we put it on this side, brr, bummer. Well, we can't yet, yeah, and we can't quite reach it from this side. What we can do is wait for it to get a little closer, say down, and now pull it. There we go. Actually, I just realized I... Uh-oh. Is that gonna fuck it up? Oh, okay, good. Never mind. No up-fucking today. So yeah, let's push that momentarily on this side, allowing us to push this, or pull this, rather. Alright, now we're good. Yeah, that took me a... I, I remember I had to look that one up. That was genuinely kind of tricky. Well, it's... I mean, the solution is simple. It's... <laughs> I felt like an idiot when I finally saw it, but... Oh, and now I see now. That's why there's a switch for it. Alright, there we go. There we are. Cool. Ride it on up, baby. I don't think there's anything up top necessarily. Oh, we're going really high. Uh-oh. Was I not supposed to... Shit. Oh, no, it's okay. I can make that jump. I was like, wait, am I... Am I not supposed to ride this all the way to the top? Did I just kill myself? Hope not. Now we're good. Okay. Well, not sure why they would have these types of switches. Oh, that's why. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, one's down. Oh, and then... There we go. Shit! Uh, okay. Um, maybe if I push this one... Ah, shit. Okay. Let's try that again. Interesting that it does that right as we hit the button, so it's... It's very... Very well timed on the game's part. Damn it! I think yeah, I can't reach that. Shit! I'm supposed to. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Fuck. Just kill me. I don't fuck. <laughs> All right. I see. Maybe we're supposed to hit the other one first. That wouldn't really make sense to me though. So we gotta rush. Yeah. There's just no time. Alright, I'm just going to speed this up. Like I said, watching, the, watching me screw up constantly is going to get boring, so here we go! Ugh! God! There we go. Cool. It was just a matter of waiting a little bit for the uh, for the switches to hit instead of just hitting them both con continuously like I was doing. So uh, a, a simple solution to a problem that I was over complicating, as I often do. What the heck was that running along the top there? 
So here's actually a nice little area where there's an egg waiting somewhere, but it's kind of a an extra, like you can see like over here, you can see when he's walking because his eyes are moving around, but you can tell I hit a wall right here because I can't move any further. But I can jump, climb that, whatever that was. And now we're still, yeah. Oh, here we go. Now, now we're good. It's actually really pretty. Oddly enough, they're candles. Why the hell would there be candles lit here? Like, maybe a birthday cake or something? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, maybe we can assume this kid's supposed to be 10 years old? Maybe? Right? I just, you know, I'm just, I'm just as clueless as everyone else. Oh, God. Okay, well, that was nice while it lasted. That moment of quiet silence was, oh, shit. I think I might have accidentally wandered into the bonus area. So, you know what? Yeah, I'll fucking show this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so there's that. Um... This is, I'll, I'll actually show the, the path you're supposed to take after this, but this is the bonus path, so to speak. Uh, there we go. Cool. This is the extra hard bonus path that you unlock after you beat the game. And it is so fucking difficult. I'm actually surprised I managed to wander in here. At least I think this is the bonus path. I, I could be mistaken, but... If nothing else, there's a bonus path not unlike this one right here. Alright, there we go. And there we go. Whew. But the idea behind this one is that it's completely dark, and that you have to use your wits about you, so to speak. Because it's, it's more or less using a... Because since you can't you, he, see shit... You have to listen for things. So, like, for instance, the sound effect of those ceiling things. I can kind of hear them. I'm jumping around. No, I didn't. I didn't hit any of any of them. So, damn it, gotta go back. This might take a couple tries. So, I'll tr I'll try and speed things up if it gets slow. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it's, again, it's all about kind of guessing where the platforms are, guessing where the the ceiling things are, and listening to try and find where they are. It's it's putting your senses to the test, I guess, in that in that sense, because you certainly can't see shit. That's true. Huh. Well, that's not disturbing at all. Oh God. What are the odds? Right, let's try that again. At least it lets us get past that part. So yes, there's a machine thing, machine gun thing. Oh, damn it, I didn't actually mean to climb on the ladder that time. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the bonus area. Which is fine, obviously. It's just... I, I was anticipating doing this after the fact. Yeah, so we can't actually see... You can very faintly see the line from the laser thing in this one. But more importantly, you can see the indentation in the wall there. Or if I get within that. Yeah, we can guess that that's where that's been shooting. Oh, God. Who the fuck set these things up? What kind of madman does this? Oh, actually, maybe I was mistaken. Maybe this isn't the bonus area. I'll know it when I see it. There's one part in particular that scares the shit out of you when you see it. I think... Hmm. You know, yeah, maybe this is the, the normal area that I'm supposed to go, then. There we go. Yeah, I think this is the normal area, so I think you can ignore what I was saying earlier about the bonus area. I will show the bo Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Damn it. I guess I'm supposed to, to duck down, then. That's one of those things, like, the game kind of expects you to fail before you actually figure it out. So to do the whole, like, no-death thing, that's that takes guts. And also to... Oh, shit. Okay, well, new strategy. Don't get up just just right then. 
Gotta cross the gap and then duck down again. Cause that thing comes back at fucking breakneck speed. Yeah, you can just hear the whirring of the blades as it goes by. Very realistic and very well done in that regard. Alright, now we wait. And now it has to go back again. But seriously, who set up this machinery? What is this factory making aside from dead children? Fucking Christ. <laughs> 